everything you need to know about Google Ads Audience Builder in three minutes or less. I'm Jill Saskin Gales, a Google Ads coach, and you may be thinking, what's Audience Builder? This is the workflow that Demand Gen, Video, and Performance Max campaigns use for their audience targeting audience signals and audience exclusions. Instead of editing audience segments like you still can in a search shopping or display campaign, you build an audience with multiple components. How does this affect you? First, with Audience Builder, you can only have one audience per ad group, but within that audience, you can have multiple audience segments. Audience Builder is compatible with detailed demographics, in-market segments, life events, and affinities. It's compatible with all of your data segments, aka remarketing, and it's compatible with custom segments, which may now be called custom interests. Audience Builder is not compatible with combined segments, and Audience Builder only lets you exclude remarketing lists, not any of Google's audience segments. In a demand gen campaign, you can also include or exclude a lookalike segment. Now, the fact that you can't use combined segments here is especially meaningful because when you add multiple audience segments with an audience builder, those have an or relationship. So adding each audience makes your potential total audience size bigger and bigger and bigger. For example, if you want to reach people who are in market for a new bed and recently moved to a new house, you can no longer do that in any campaign type that uses Audience Builder. Now, once you create an audience with Audience Builder, you can then select it in another related campaign type. So for example, you can create an audience signal in Performance Max, which would be a signal, not targeting, but then use that exact same build as audience targeting in a video campaign. Kind of confusing, right? Demographics used to sit separately from audience segments, but with an audience builder, you'll find your demographics there too. In a demand gen campaign, audience builder is the only kind of ad targeting you can choose. In a video campaign, you can use audience builder, you can use content targeting or both. And then in performance max, you can use an audience signal with audience builder. And you also have the option to add search themes. Again, just a signal, not targeting, but it is supposed to make audience targeting easier in spite of the fact that it removes some audience targeting capabilities. I'm not a gambler, but if I were, I would bet that Audience Builder will come for display, search, and shopping soon as well. Got a question about Google Ads audiences? Let us know in the comments.